Using the right tool and cutting technique when grafting is very important to avoid injuries. A dull grafting tool will stick, make you use more force and if you don't control the knife correctly, you will cut yourself. Even when you use a safer cutting technique, like cutting across your chest when bench grafting, it's always a good idea to use the sharpest tool possible. Test your grafting knife by cutting a piece of paper. If you find any resistance, your knife needs sharpening. You can take your knife to a store to be sharpened by a professional or you can do it yourself. Your best option if you want to sharpen it yourself is using a set of sharpening stones. These stones have a more or less coarse grain, indicated by the grit number. A smaller number will be needed to restore damaged blade edges. A medium number, like 1000 grit, will be needed to start sharpening the blade. A higher number, like this 3000 grit side, will give the blade a very good sharpness. To finish the job, use a 6000 grit stone or higher, or a more cheaper solution like a strop. To know more, check my video on sharpening grafting knives in the channel or follow the link in the description. Whenever possible, as when bench grafting, use a safer cutting technique, like cutting across your chest. Lock the knife and siren in your wrists and cut with a parallel motion across your chest and away from the hand holding the wood. Failure to lock the knife with the right angle will produce cuts that are too long or cuts that are too short. With practice, you will achieve the ideal length for the bevel according to the type of graft you are doing. Nevertheless, when sawing material is too short, on when grafting in the field, this cutting technique might not be possible. Holding the scion and cutting away from the body is a good alternative. With this technique, the cuts can also be very clean and smooth, which is essential for a successful graft. In some cases, supporting the scion with one finger might be necessary to achieve a straight cut. If you use this option, be sure to use a very sharp knife and keep the angle of the knife very shallow. A smooth and straight surface will ensure an excellent cambion contact between scion and rootstock. An alternative to the double bevel grafting knife is a single bevel one like this Victorinox, suited for right-handed grafters. This type of crafting knife is safer to use by beginners as the flat side will prevent the blade from going too deep. Some types of crafting cuts are more dangerous than others. When doing a tongue in the scion, for the whip and tongue technique, you simply can't avoid cutting towards you. Using the thumb of the cutting hand as a control point is essential, as it prevents the knife from going any further. A gentle rocking motion and a firm grip of the scion will also help to avoid problems. A 
Another grafting technique where you might have to cut towards you is the chip bud grafting technique. To avoid injuries, be sure to control the sign firmly and use your thumb as a support and stop control point. The main problem with this technique occurs when passing the bud resistance. Keep the knife shallow and use a gentle rocking motion to overcome the bud resistance. Be sure to make the base cut first. It will serve as a stop point, avoiding that the knife can go any further. With practice, you will achieve perfect lock of the wrists with the cyan. Controlling the cut, the knife can't go past the base cut, which acts as a stopper. Be sure to practice doing lots of cuts in controlled conditions with this bendable material. In the field, with limited science to work with and in less than perfect conditions, the practice will pay off. In most cases, when grafting to change varieties, conditions will be far from ideal. So, you will have to adapt and be versatile with your grafting cuts. Rootstock position and shape can be awkward, so be careful when cutting in these situations. Scion material can be so scarce that you might be forced to use unsafer cuts. So, be sure to use the techniques I show to avoid injuries. In these awkward positions, cuts will not be perfect. But they usually don't have to be, as long as there is cambium contact at some point. Remember that with harder wood, you can use your pruning shears to start the bevel, perfecting it later with a knife. Check my other videos on grafting to know more. A few links are available in the description. Coming soon, growing tomatoes organically from seed. All the steps you need to know to achieve success. Including how to prune for greater production. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, 
and leave a comment to support the channel. Don't forget to click the bell to receive notifications of new videos.